Forerunner 245 does the thinking, so all you need to focus on is running. In this video, we'll show you how to start using your new GPS running watch. The first time you turn on the smartwatch, you'll be prompted to complete the quick setup process. It will even walk you through how to pair the smartwatch with your phone. Now, let's take a look at the watch. On the top left is the light key. Press it to activate the backlight, or press and hold to access the controls menu. You can use the controls menu to turn on Do Not Disturb, lock your device, access a basic stopwatch or timer, and perform other functions. Next are the up and down keys. With these keys, you'll navigate through the different menus, data screens, and widgets. For example, from the watch face, press the up or down key to cycle through preloaded widgets, including performance, health stats, my day, pulse ox, and more. On the top right is the start-stop key. In addition to starting and stopping the timer during your runs, you'll also use this key to make menu selections. Finally, on the bottom right is the back key. Press it to return to the previous screen. Or, during a run, press it to mark a lap. To access the menu, press and hold the Up key. In the menu, you can update your preferences for the currently selected activity, such as changing data screens or setting up an alert. You can also access general settings for your watch. On compatible models, press and hold the Down key to quickly access the music controls from anywhere, including during timed activities. Before you go for your first run, you can assign your emergency contacts. That way, if you ever find yourself in need of assistance, you can easily use the watch's built-in running awareness features as long as you're paired with your smartphone. To set your emergency contacts, open the Garmin Connect app and tap More or the menu. Tap Contacts. Then Set Up Contacts. Here, Garmin Connect can access the contacts on your phone. Select the ones you'd like to import. Then tap Done. Now return to the menu and select Safety and Tracking. Select Incident Detection and Assistance. Enter your personal information, then add up to three emergency contacts. Now, if you find yourself in need of assistance, Hold the light key until you feel the watch vibrate three times. Your emergency contacts will be notified via text message and email. Now you're ready to go on a run. Press the start key. When GPS is ready, the watch will vibrate and advance to the data screen loop. Then press the Start key again and run. During your run, you can scroll up or down through the data screens to view stats such as distance, time, pace, and more. When your run is over, press Stop. From here, you can either resume the timer or scroll down to save your activity. After you select Save, your watch will show a summary of what you just accomplished. Press the Start-Stop key to scroll through your training effect. VO2 max and recovery time. Or press the down key to see additional details about your activity, such as heart rate and lap summary. Thanks for watching.